morning one and all present here. Today I Sagar and my companion Lakshay are going to present my science exhibition project named as the new era of piezoelectricity. Our first topic starts with what is piezoelectricity. Firstly it is necessary to understand that what does this word piezo actually means. Piezo means to push. We will now know that what is kinetic energy. It is an energy possessed by the body due to virtue of its motion. Now think what if we utilize our kinetic energy in other useful work and this is what we all need. And utilizing this energy will be the main focus of the piezoelectricity. Now, piezoelectricity will be uh, will come to a better understanding by seeing a example from a basketball court. Let's see. It. So now we will look at the electromechanical coupling of the piezoelectric effect, which are strain and stress. These two are the main factors leading to production of electricity. Strain is directly proportional to the permeativity of the material, which is the capacity of holding electrical energy in an electrical field, and stress is directly proportional to the elasticity of the material. The more the material is elastic and permeative, the more we can convert the kinetic energy into electrical energy. So let us explain in detail how piezoelectric effect works. So let us assume this is a piezoelectric material and this is the mechanical axis of the material and this is the electrical axis of the material. When the material is compressed by its mechanical axis, the charges get divided in two different phases, positive this side and negative this side, which leads to production of the voltage. The same things happen in vice versa also. If we give voltage across its electrical axis, the material will automatically start stretching by its mechanical axis. This is the piezoelectric effect. And this very effect is used in the gas lighters, which we use. When we push the button, there is a force by its mechanical axis of the piezoelectric material, which causes spark and hence the lighter is burnt. Now the question comes that how we use this piezoelectricity. Firstly, we will need to understand that what actual kinetic energy is and how does this energy change occurs. Let us take an example of a basketball. Suppose we are in a court and a ball dribbles. Let us say that a ball drops from a certain height and let us assume it to be edge. Now, when a ball is at some height above the ground, to be considered as the reference frame, the ball possesses some potential energy which is the energy present in the body when it is at some certain height. Now, as soon as the ball drops, means it falls, it is obvious that the ball will possess some velocity. And as soon as the ball will possess the velocity, its potential energy decreases and kinetic energy will increase. Now, see, what will happen if the ball just collides on the ground? We cannot even think that the ball will rebound in a time of 0.0001 second means the time will tend towards zero and this is what we call as elastic collision and when this uh, collision will happen the particles inside this inflated ball will collide with each other which will give the kinetic energy to each particle and this uh, kinetic energy turn will be utilized as a piezoelectricity so we can infer from the from this that the elastic collision is directly proportional to the kinetic energy. For example, if there is 40% elastic collision, then 40% kinetic energy is conserved, and 80% so 80% kinetic energy is conserved, and this will be utilized as a PSO electricity. Now let us see a numerical for a better understanding of this concept. So let us see this numerical for our better understanding of the concept. Now. Here, let us assume that the ball is falling from certain height and obviously it is falling from height, then it must have some speed. So let us assume the speed to be 4.734 meter per second. And let us assume that the ball has a mass of 0.62 kg. Remember, while doing calculation, all units should be in SI unit. And for mass, it is kg and for velocity, it is meter per second. Now, as we know, the formula for kinetic energy is half mv square. So by putting the value of mass and velocity here, we get the following energy that is 4 uh, 7 joule approx. Now let us assume that in the match around 1500 dribbles are made. So total energy of dribbles will be 10,500 joules. 
exceeded a large value. Now time in total collision that this will be 0 0.002 into 1500 dribbles that will be that will be around 3 seconds. So we know the formula of power is the rate of doing it. and here work done is equal to the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy upon time will give us 3500 watts per, per match. This is a very high quantity in power. Now if we will set up PSU electric setup in the cold then this electricity that is the kinetic electricity will be used by this and it will produce a high amount of electricity and see uh, a large number of matches happen in a single core. So we can think that a large amount of electricity can be produced from this. Now let us assume that this is a basketball court and the a match is going on the ball will dribble from here to there. As soon as the ball falls from heart, the kinetic energy uh, will come into account. And uh, the, as, so suppose the ball falls uh, here, and elastic collision will take place, and the ball will rebound in 0 0.0001 second, means the time will take to zero. And we have set a piezoelectric material beneath this coat, which will convert this into piezoelectricity and help us overcome the problem of electricity. The material which we will be using in our basketball coat is lead zirconate titanate which is also known as lead zirconium titanate which is a very good piezoelectric material. Whenever there is a game going on our coat there will be compressing force on the material which will cause the charges to go to opposite faces and will produce voltage and this voltage will be saved in the battery. Like this ample amount of electric energy can be created. Thank you. Hope you liked it.